Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. I said once a day, this is actually the second one today. We're going to squeeze in a pit stop here for the second quiz of the day, day number 348. This was submitted by Jerry Foster from California. There is a theme. The answer to every question will be a United States city. You can give me the city or the city in the state. But that's, uh, keep that in mind as you're answering questions today. Question number one. In what city's famed winter carnival are the festivities kicked off by the triumph of King Boreas over the villainous Vulcanus Rex? The city we're looking for there is St. Paul, Minnesota. Question number two, perhaps the second most recognizable house in the United States, after the White House, is the Carson Mansion. In what city would you find the Carson Mansion? The answer is Eureka, California. I'll give you 50% credit if you just get the right state. How about that? Question number three. The shipyards of what U.S. city are where nearly all U.S. Navy aircraft carriers since World War II have been built? The shipyards of what U.S. city? The answer is Newport News, Virginia. If you start in the nation's capital, there are only two state capitals that cannot be reached solely by automobile. One, obviously, is Honolulu, Hawaii. What is the other? The answer is Juneau, Alaska. You have to take the ferry to get to Juneau. Question number five. What is generally considered to be the oldest continuously inhabited European established city in the United States? Remember, I'm given half credit if you just get the state right. It's down in Florida. The answer is St. Augustine. Question number six. In what U.S. city did delegates from 50 countries meet to form the United Nations in 1945? The answer is San Francisco, California. Question number seven, President William McKinley was assassinated in 1901 while attending the World's Fair it was actually called the Pan American Exposition in what U.S. city? The answer is Buffalo, New York. Question number eight. The Alamo is a very famous mission that was turned into a fort. In what U.S. city would you find it? The answer is San Antonio, Texas. Question number nine. The Wright brothers flew their first airplane at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. But in what city did they live and build that airplane? The Wright brothers are from Dayton, Ohio. Question number 10, what is the only U.S. city that owns its professional football sports team? There's a couple of cities that own pro sports teams, but in the NFL, the only one that owns it is Green Bay, Wisconsin. Question number 11, what is the northernmost state capital in the contiguous 48 states? 
so don't count Juno. In the contiguous 48 states, what is the northernmost state capital? Located at 47 degrees north latitude, Olympia, Washington is the answer. Question number 12. The world's largest outdoor pipe organ has been basically in continuous use since 1915. To which U.S. city would one go to hear it? The answer is San Diego, California. Question number 13. Biggest in the U.S. and 16th biggest in the world. What U.S. city's seaport handles the greatest tonnage of cargo per year? So it's the biggest in the U.S., 16th biggest in the world. The most tonnage of cargo per year goes through Houston, Texas. Question number 14. What is the smallest state capital by population, which has only about 8,000 people? The smallest state capital is Montpelier, Vermont. Question number 15. What is the largest state capital by population, which has about 200 times as many people as the smallest? The most populated state capital is Phoenix, Arizona. Question number 16. There have been many jokes about who is buried in Grant's tomb. But in what city would you find the tomb of General and President Ulysses S. Grant? Regardless of who's buried there, it is located in New York City, New York. Question number 17, if you start in the central business district or the downtown of this major city in the contiguous U.S. and drive south, you will wind up in Canada. What city is it? You can do that in Detroit, Michigan. Question number 18, the longest running radio show having made over 5,100 weekly broadcasts over the past 98 years, is the Grand Ole Opry. From what city is it broadcast? The Grand Ole Opry broadcasts out of Nashville, Tennessee. Question number 19. Near what city, known both as the Crescent City and the Big Easy, was the final battle of the War of 1812 fought two weeks after the war had formally ended. The answer is New Orleans, Louisiana. And question 20. In what city, on December 2nd, 1942, did a team led by physicist Enrico Fermi start the first atomic reactor. That city was Chicago, Illinois. And that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode, today's second episode of Road Trippia. It was sent in by Jerry Foster from California. He sent one in. The questions were too short to be on a regular trivia, so it worked out perfect to have a pit stop trivia. It worked out even more perfect to go ahead and throw that pit stop trivia as the second quiz of the day for today. So I'm working on the 365 days, uh, you know, the rest of the trivia quizzes to try to wrap up by the end of the year. But since the uh, this weekend is the end of the year, it's not looking very likely. So. 
2023's 365 day trivia road trip is likely going to spill into 2024. Sorry about that. Either way, here's question 21 for today, the tiebreaker. How many state capitals are located west of Los Angeles? That's an interesting one. I would not have guessed that. The answer is six. Sacramento, California, Carson City, Nevada, Salem, Oregon, Olympia, Washington, Juneau, Alaska, and Honolulu, Hawaii. Whichever player got closest to six is going to win the point. Congratulations. See you tomorrow.